I think we're going to head downstairs and see what the next mission is. What's the next port of call? Good. You are awake. I was hoping to talk to you. Ah, oh, Grasshopper. Yes. And no. You have completed your first field mission. You must have thoughts. I am curious as to what they are. What are you feeling at the moment? I thought it was awesome. It's like I've almost found me calling in life. Yeah, I'm eager to get her back out there. That is refreshing to hear. For some of us, the unavowed is a calling. For others, a duty. But for you, I have seen you in action. I have seen you react under pressure. You were clearly meant for this life. I think you're right. I'm a demon fighting beast, even though I've let everyone we've come across escape. It's because I'm secretly a coward. <laughs> Do you? Do you really? Your old life, your life as a barkeep, prepared you for this. Your really? Empathy, your ability to connect to others. They are qualities we need quite badly, I must say. The thing is about that barkeep is I didn't really have much of a choice, so I kind of, I'm not really a barkeep. You just think I am? But I'll leave that planted in your mind. I'll do my best. That is all any of us can hope for. At any rate, I detect no falsehood within you. You spoke the truth to me. Thank you. I will return to my training now. I will return to my training now. Oh, look at this guy. He's summoned some kind of spirit code decipherable ball it's the sphere of answers oh hi didn't see you there i was hmm. just reading some old text with firesight firesight eh you're reading through a fire something like that it's a fire magic trick Let's me read any book that was consumed by flame. It's a big really? stain on the eyes, but beggars can't be choosers. It's like the Kindle reader for fire people. Can I try reading it? I wouldn't recommend it. Not unless you want your eyes to melt. Just as well, this book isn't telling me anything. It's an old Sumerian text about death magic. Really long, really boring. But I used to read books about S Corp tax code for fun back when I was an accountant. I can handle boring. Ah well. See you at the meeting. So he used to be an accountant. Okay. Yeah, one last question. Fire away. Yeah. You mentioned something about being an accountant and we've got an option of the pictures on the walls. That's right. Back in my mundane days. Back before my powers kicked in. I worked at the firm Weisel, Meltzer, and Sherman. Meltzer. Used to be a Beckett somewhere in the middle of that, but, well, you know. Yep, I was damn good at it, too. I made partner in five years. Worked at the firm for another 20. You had to know things to be an accountant back then. No computers to do half your job for you. And to make partner, you had to crunch numbers in your sleep. Me? I ate him for breakfast. Dicks. He ate big dicks for breakfast. Man, being a partner at an accountancy firm, you had to suck a lot of dicks. Not wrong with that. Not wrong with that. Do whatever gets you promoted, boo boo. Right. Sure, I guess. Yeah, what, that's what I want to know. What are you and man Dana doing at the door? We feeding the birds. What? You, could... you expected something else? There's nothing special about it. Just an ordinary day. Well, the question... Wait there. The question I've got is... Who fucking took the picture? Because both of you are in it and you've got no other mates. Unless it was a dad. Well, I can't deny that's me. Almost 70 years ago that was taken. Could we not talk about this yet? Oh, we're not that friendly yet, are we? Yeah, Beckett. 
ah, that's right, man, because he was going to work at this law firm, blah, blah, blah. So something happened, and I bet you he was expelled because his name's being removed off the law firm's name. You know what they say. If it's yours, put your name on it. But, yeah, that's my house. Well, 50 years ago, it was my house. Had to leave it behind when my powers kicked in. And the worst part? I was only five installments away from paying off the mortgage. Yeah, but I kind of don't want to talk about them now, if that's okay. I reckon, right, let, let me let me have a good guess. When this guy became a fire guy, he also accidentally set fire to his house and burned his family inside of it. That's his tragic past. I'll put money on it. Yep, that's me. Hard at work. I can even remember the account I was working on. This dress manufacturer in Midtown, booming business, lots of numbers, tons of paperwork. Took me months to sort through it all. I loved every minute of it. Either that, or he was such a boring cunt his wife and kids left him because all he talk talked about was numbers. <laughs> right, um, if the picture was nothing special, why are you smiling? I am? Huh. Yeah, I guess I am. The picture was taken in, uh, 77, 78, around five years after my powers kicked in anyway. I buried myself down here, studying old books, experimenting with spells, trying to come to terms with everything. Then Mondana dragged me out to the park. We fed the birds. It was nice, normal, ordinary. I felt human, and I can never forget that. Not ever. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Right, I think we should go and speak to the genie and continue with our next mission. What's it called to again? Send you aid would leave our own domains undefended. You know this, Kalash. Undefended against what? Ours is the only domain under attack. Your charter is quite clear. Recruitment is your responsibility. You accuse me of negligence. Just how many agents are currently in your employ? That is precisely the point. We have no agents to spare. I am sorry, Kalash. So am I, Everlax. New York is getting overwhelmed. When that happens, they will come for you. Then we must be ready when it comes. Arilax out. May Jahannam swallow you whole. <laughs> Aralax. Yeah, who's this Aralax you speak of? Lady Aralax, head of the Dublin branch of the Unavowed. It is no secret the threats have been escalating. I had hoped to appeal for aid and fill up our ranks. Alas, we are on our own. I respect Lady Aralax, but I should have known better. Never ask a dragon for anything. You will always regret it. I wonder if it's to be taken in the literal sense that she's actually a dragon. Was he speaking to her through the fire? Or was that her up there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, let's ask him about some other people. I do not indulge in idle gossip. If you want to know of someone, ask them. Oh, fair enough then, Mr. Fucking Aussie Pants. Not now. My opinion will be given during. Oh well, right, Ari, you're a closed book, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. We're speaking to a dragon. A dragon at the head of the Dublin branch of the Unavowed. Yes, she is old, stuck in her ways. I suppose the same could be said of most of us. Oh, it's the crystal. A magic foam. I suppose that is one way of describing it. There are shards of this crystal in every branch of the Unavowed. It allows us to communicate for whatever good that does. Call the meeting. Yes, duty calls. I have appealed once more for aid. It has been rejected. Huh, this is my surprised face. <laughs> Why do you bother with those cowards, father? Show some respect. They are correct. Stubborn, but correct. 
This is my sex face. We don't need help, we're doing just fine on our own. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just Superman. Are we? I am not so sure about that. Each branch is responsible for its own defense and recruitment. In this respect, I have been negligent. So have all the branches, Father. A sudden rise in threats would have caught any city unprepared. And where that city? Lucky us. I shall appeal again, rest assured. In the meantime, let us go over last night's events. I think it went really well. That is to be determined. Daughter, I trust you have recuperated from your ordeal with the fire elemental. I have. There do not appear to be any other ill effects. So you aren't entirely positive. I took all the necessary precautions, but one is never entirely positive. Then I will have to accept that. However, I am deeply concerned that this mundane was able to acquire such a powerful spell in the first place. I know that is quite worrying actually, how a human could just turn himself into a fire elemental. Imagine if anyone got their hands on that power, they would just reap carnage. Yes, but why? Why would a demon do such a thing? Why do demons do anything? Distractions for something habit, bigger. Obviously. Why else? No, this was too focused, too targeted. We are not dealing with a mindless spirit bent on chaos and destruction. This demon had a plan, a purpose. We need to learn what it was. Yeah, how do we do it? Funny you should say that. Ah, I know that yet. You did as I asked, Mage Beckett? Yes, I did, sir. And it worked. Well, working. It's not quite done yet. What are you referring to? Oh, the ritual knife. I did a thaumaturgic scan on it. A what? What is that? It's a, a magic thing. Checking objects for imbued magical energy. And I hit pay dirt. The knife was imbued with a very specific energy signature. Your demon's energy, to be precise. It's connected to you, and you alone. That's why you were the only one who could use it properly. Can I have a box? Which means we can track it. A sense of butt coming. <clears throat> well, I can track the energy signature, but the demon's out of your body now. Its energy signature has changed. I can only track where it's been when it was in your body. Hmm. Yeah, if we can find out where it took us, it might lead us to, lead us to some key locations. It was busy, I'll say that much. It was all over the map. I'm trying to narrow it down to the areas of greatest activity, but it's slow going. So far, the scan's got you pegged in two places. The Bronx, around Gun Hill Station, and Staten Island by the ferry terminal. Staten Island, son. The veil should take care of that. Don't worry. Very well. Check both areas for void activity and any sign of the demon. We'll show those idiots on the council what New York is made of. Meeting adjourned. We're going to the Bronx, meet Jenny from the block. Let's go. I think we should go Hello. to the... We're tapping the edge of your book. I am. Bronx. Start off with the Bronx. Yeah. I have not been to this area since the 70s. It was a dangerous place to be in those days. Evening, folks. Yeah, has anything strange happened? I work the subway, man. I see five strange things before noon. You're gonna need to be a lot more specific than that. Demons and magic. Stay dry up. Hey, which way can we go? To the corner. Or the residential area. Let's go to the resi area. 
Eli. Is it actually on fire? To ask, how are you coping? Huh? I'm coping fine. Why? Until recently, we have. Hey, hold up. That's what? a residential area. We can't just go wandering around without knowing where we're going. Indeed. Why? The veil renders us unrecognizable, not invisible. We must gather more information before venturing forth. Well, come on, let's just have a look around. Got a brick. Let's put someone's windows out. Why not? Right, we're not allowed in there. We're banned. Go out of the corner. Sell some crack. And that's really it. I'm screwed. And this is kind of weird. Why am I telling you all this? I've got a face people trust. You just couldn't help it. I want to say maybe because I was the first to ask for what's wrong. You know what? You're right. Nobody ever asks how I feel. Nobody. I just don't know what to do. I knew that room at the Eddings house was too good to be true. I knew it. <laughs> it's obvious what you need to do. Obvious to you, maybe. Me, I'm drawing a blank. Kill them suggest... all. First, you need to buy a few things. Do you know what it is? I've just watched a, a series called Dirty John. This guy looks like Dirty John. Look, he's, he's manipulating her. First, you need to buy me a load of good things. Maybe we should bring a pillow along next time. Hush, he's waking up. Oh. Hey, take it easy. You seem okay. Oh, I know, but that seems, seems, seems fine, eh? My bodies are just a demon vision, it's great. The girl seemed trouble, I hope she's okay. I suggest cautious optimism. What did the woman in the vision say? The Eddings house? Something to go on. We have achieved more with much less. Let's get moving then. The Eddings house, right, but the thing is, she also said she went in the. She bought things. Can we get into this store? Can I break the window? Perhaps another time. <laughs> Alright, maybe not. Maybe not. Can I go in? About for why can I not go to the store? So I had to I had to go there first to find out it was in Evans house. Hey, that's a residential area. Indeed. That we must gather oh, I'm going to the Evans house? She just told us where to go. Last this guy. Evening, folks. Edmonds. Now, why would you have to ask him about that? I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? You look upset. Oh, don't be sorry. It's just nasty business, is all. Is that the end of Morgan Ave, just west of here? Cheers, mate. Well, hey. Place. Oh yeah. Pretty typical if these things go. I've always loved reaction. I doubt typical is the correct word. <sighs> it never is. I've always loved houses like this, how like you've got the bottom floor which is like a basement and a garage. And then your house is above it. They stand quite tall. I'm going to the back of the house. Oh, that's not sinister or anything, is it? <laughs> Hi. Well, that is curious. Yes. Well, a talking house. We need help. Be absurd. The window is talking, not the house. Please. Right. My mistake. I'll fucking help you. Watch this. Get in here. See ya. What the hell? Up. Keep your shoulders down. You can't even. Oh my god, it's taking the piss out of us. 
Item received brick again. Go on, throw it. Smash it. You lack the necessary arm strength to hit your t To be fair, he has been possessed for a year. I doubt the demons. You lack the necessary arm strength as well. <sighs> well, can you do this? Can you use the brick? I fail to see how I Okay, have you, have you not got the arm strength, like? Well, you can sit there and criticise me and him for having not enough arm strength, but if you can't do it yourself, then shut your fucking lips. Right. I'll take that. A, a rusty water tap. It doesn't work. You can do the tap. Um, not... You do the tap. I fail to see... Hmm. I failed. Is that fire to these minutes? Um, I hate roses. I said we're going back to the front. Hmm. Is this what the old days were like? The old days. Locked. I would recommend not trying to lift that. I think she can do this. Levering that door open would require more strength. Oh, goody. Seems we're at a standstill. Set fire to it. Ah, uh, no. I just set fire to the house. What, what? Yeah, come on. You, you've, you must have been able to kind of master your powers just a little bit not to set fire to the whole bloody thing. Just this gate. Alright, okay, what are we missing? I kind of believe this guy kind of throw a brick through upstairs window. Like, you must be weak as a baby fart. What can we do with this tap? Are we lacking the... We're lacking the minerals. Oh, can we go to the drain pipe? Nope. Can you do something with this? And accomplish... What? And burn... Hmm... Maybe you should try something. He's full of pathetic. To be fair, you <sighs> right, I think I think we can't do anything here yet. We're gonna have to go somewhere else. That will not. That was what are you trying to I don't know, I'm just, I'm just trying anything. Right, let's go. Yeah, we don't have anything we can we can do here. Well fact mate. There's gotta be a way in here. What about the phone? Empty convenience store. Hmm. What I'm thinking is, maybe I have to go to the other um, place first. I fail. Right, today what we're going to do, we're going to go to the subway station, see if it lets us... What about you? Can you help us with something? Evening, folks. Nothing to say. Sorry. Stay dry. Well, fantastic. I don't think we're. F oh, we're not finished yet. Yeah, so once you're, alright, that's good. So what, whatever location you've gotten off the train station with, you've got to finish up in that area. Okay. Is there anywhere else we can go here? Right. What are we missing? How how are we gonna do this? How are we going to do this? The bars are made of steel. My sword will not move them. What? And burn them? 
We'll just just melt the bars, then she can pry the door open. Oh well, lads, use your noggin. These roses are flourishing. A rusty water tap. Looks like a brick to me. No. It is a brick. It is heavy. I fail to see. Um. I don't have a clue. I don't see. We've got to, there's got to be an area. There's got to be an area I'm missing. I've quite literally tried everything in my power. Come on, brick this guy. Bang. Why can we not go in the store? I mean... Nah, you can't go any further. I need to ask these for help. The window is literally asking us to break it. Who are we to argue? Yeah, but the problem is, I can't fucking do it, can I? I guess when a window talks to you, right with you. Hmm. There's just nothing. There's nothing I can. Uh... Hold on, wait, there's, there's got to be a bar or something we can steal. I think we've got to get in this garage, it's the only way. I would recommend not. Yeah, but if both me and you try Covering this. that door open would require. I went the wrong way. This should not pose a difficulty. Well, I fucking tried to get you to do that and Bullseye. It what the fuck? The center, but close enough. Why did that not work the first time I did it? Man, this some motherfucking bullshit right here, son. Go on, get a boost. Let me. Hi. You made it. Who are you? I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost, 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 ghost. I'm a ghost, woo, that's hilarious. 
How come I can't see? I think you're lying. Because I'm a ghost dude. No you twat, I can see ghosts. Please hurry. Go this way. Hmm. Let's take the screwdriver just in case we need it. I think this is going to be the evilest spirit we've ever seen. I don't trust it one bit. It's too nice. Boo. I know. Quick. You can... Unlock the door from this side. Oh, I've got a woman and a dog. Is that? No way. It... That's the fucking guy from the start. The guy that... that... That we stop from killing themselves, in it. I wonder if that's the, that's the guy that was drunk at the start who we saved. There you are. I heard you talking. Is someone in there? Perhaps we should enter and see for ourselves. Hi guys, you made it. I think, I think this the thing's gonna kill us. Is over. Identify yourself. I'm KK. KK is a ghost, apparently. Really? <laughs> you don't act like any ghost I've ever seen. That's because I'm special. <laughs> That's because I'm special. I'm a spirit a guide. Spirit guide? You mean you're bound to a spirit medium? One close by? Oh, he's upstairs. He needs help. Go, 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 go. I oh, look a Honolulu doll. Mandy, it's just a plastic hula dancer. Yes, of course it is. Apologies, I am on edge. There is a dark energy here that makes me uneasy. I can feel it also. End of the hall, hurry. Well, I'm not going there yet. I want this. Tacky hula dancer, it's still playing music. Oh, not that door. End of the hall. That's amazing. It really doesn't want us to go in there. These abstract oil dabbins look to be the work of an amateur. <laughs> right, let's do it. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And wisdom to know the difference. It's fuzzy and indistinct. It stares blankly ahead. It isn't helping. Logan. That's Logan. But it was a picture of his brother downstairs. No. No way that's you. I'm hallucinating from hunger. Where the hell have you been, man? I've been worried about you. I've been possessed. Yeah, I know all about it. Really? You're okay now, right? You seem okay.
Yeah, there's something you're not telling me. You can say that. Look, it's complicated. Someone told me. Someone who was there. It's too much to get into right now. Who are your friends? I'm Eli Beckett. This is Montana. My name's Logan Brown. I used to buy too many drinks from your friend here. And now, I could really use some help. Don't brush me off like that. I asked you a fucking question. Yeah, it does have to do with the ghost over there. Now I'll say it's the house haunted. You know about that? We can see the ghosts behind you. Hold on. <laughs> you, you can see them. Like, actually see them. Well, with my eyes. Sure, kind of. Ghosts all look the same, don't they? Just what do you mean? They look like grey floating clouds. Every ghost we've seen looks like grey shapeless blobs. We don't see any human features. What are you seeing exactly? I see people. Two women, one man. They're confused and angry. Not exactly easy to talk to. Let me see if I understand. You can see these spirits and you can talk to them. Yeah. I see. <gasps> we need him. KK told us about the bestower. Yeah, uh, that's me. You know your stuff. You're here to help these ghosts pass on. That's right. Only things went a bit wrong. We need Logan to get us to speak to the tree ghost. And then we can we can solve that crime or something. Not that crime, but that aspect. Awesome. So we've got to help this guy to get him to be, well, at least give us a helping hand. Tell us what happened. Crap. Easy. Easy now. Shh. Just relax. Okay. She's calm. I kind of need to focus. Can you help me or what? Hi, how are then? We'll help you. <sighs> Thank you. Here's the plan. I need to know their names. Is the best way to get through to them. Can you do that? Figure out their names? Hi, how are then? No problem. Funny guy. I'm sure there are clues and things around the house. I'd go myself, but I'm kind of trapped. Thanks. Alright. Let's find out the names. You don't feel that tightness was the inhabitant of this room's strong point. No shit. Science homework. A post it note that has the words by earplugs written in very hard angry letters. Fisherman's Guide. It's a cat. So this is this is like a like a kid or a teenager's bedroom. That didn't seem to be much in there. Like smoke alarm. Could be either a girl or a boy. I mean, he's got pictures of fish and a cat. It's a bit contradictory because cats are normally for girls and fish is normally for boys. Ah, so this is the mum and dad. So it's. Got a poem. For Mary Jane. May the roses that bloom from your beloved shall be as sweet and full of joy as the beautiful soul that left it behind. Oh Mary Jane, may the roses that bloom from your beloved. So there's roses in the garden. Oh, we're going to have to... The dog, the dog's buried in the garden below the fucking roses. I bet it is. Right. So look at the picture. Well, we, I already know their names. He's called... Well, I don't actually. I forgot his name already, but... Nothing in there. How the hell have you managed to get knickers and drawers around the bloody lights? Man, there was some freaky motherfuckers. Some clothes and... 
beat up doll, a ripped up umbrella. Really? Beat up doll. Alright, let's go out. Don't think there's anything else in here. Aha, trash kind of missed that. It looks to be full of ashes. From the consistency, it looks like notebook paper. Or at least it was. How can we... Oh, J and A. E. We've got a screwdriver. Well, where's me? Where's me Honolulu? It's all gone. J and A. E. What the hell do I need a battery for? Right, let's get back downstairs and do some investigating. Ah, uh, maybe the... We need to get into the garage. Art. So maybe he. Oh, I've got any idea. He's not called Art, is he? Would rec Perhaps we're going to the back garden. These roses. I don't see. Dig the dog up. I'm well. Going back. I'm going back in through. The, <laughs> the front door is unlocked. No. Uh. We're going to go back and see the ghosts. Right, now let's show him some pictures and we'll get the names. Oh, no, we don't have a... I give him this. No. This is the Eddings house. Does that help? I already tried that. It's not enough. I need actual names. It's the best way to get through. Believe. Well, is the guy called Art? Ghosts can't. Hmm. What? Sure, but maybe we should move outside. Ah, yes. We can get him to read some shit. We can get him to read that. Oh my god, I've just fe it just fell into place. Go in there. Get him to read what's in that bin. Fire reader baby. He can read anything that's burned. This game is absolutely incredible. What's up? Sure, but maybe we should move outside first. Right outside. Okay. What's up? Don't see why not. Yeah, burnt in the trash can. Sure. Just a sec. Moving day, a bit far from campus, but it's mine. Art and Jess. Art and Jess. Seem like an okay couple. Artist, I think. They're renting this room out for what my dad would have called a song. 
Oh, that I miss you so much. Take a full load of courses this semester. I can't lose my scholarship after all that's happened. Decided to keep this journal to keep myself focused. Keep, keep an old Arabelle up on the shelf for inspiration. She's looking a little threadbare these days. Arabelle. Jess offered me a hit of a bong this morning at breakfast. Didn't realise they were such major potheads. So the two, the couple, Art and Jess, okay. The dog is named Mary Jane, which we already knew that. Should have been my first clue. Swear Jess dotes more on that dog than she would her own kid. The Eddings are out at some artist gallery opening thing. That dog is outside my bedroom door barking and whining. I'm trying to study biochem. Should I let her in? This my... This is my Dana studying hour, but hey, cute dog. So she called Donna, Donna, Art and Jess. So it wasn't the Eddins, or was it? Art and Jess Eddin. Got the names, baby. Donna, Art, and Jess. You sure. Let's try it. Are those your names? Art, Jess, Dana, Art, Jess, Dana. Oh fuck. The ghosts. They're. No, no. Please, there's no need for this. Art, Dana, Jess. Just relax, fellas. Please, relax. That was close. Close? Close? Those ghosts went geist. Geist? Poltergeist. It's what you get when ghosts go bad. Like, really, really bad. But I've only read about them in books. It doesn't actually happen. At least, it shouldn't. Not anymore. Well, it happens now. These ghosts attacked us. They tried to tear KK apart. We barely got the circle up in time. You need to tell us what's going on. Fine. I think I've got things under control. If you have questions, ask them now. This is... The, I love the atmosphere of the game. I love, like, supernatural things. What is the circle you're standing in? This? KK taught me how to make it. Who's KK? Ghosts can't cross it. Not just ghosts. It keeps out any spiritual energy. I've got something similar in my lab. You do? Sure. When you're experimenting with unstable magic, it's smart to be behind the protection circle. But it took me weeks to prepare. You're telling me that you whipped this up on the spot? Me? I just drew the circle. It was KK who turned it on. Mm. Amazing. You both must be incredibly powerful. We're just doing a job, one day at a time. Or we would, if we weren't stuck here. Yeah, but like KK, I know like KK is the ghost thing that's writing stuff on the windows, but how is that linked to him or maybe he's got some sort of spiritual bond with her yeah why couldn't we see KK she's a spirit guide not a pure ghost different rules KK and I are bonded at the soul only I can see her it's the way it's always been two or three days maybe bloody hell I had some energy bars in my pocket they got me through the worst of it but yeah won't be long before my shoes start to look very tasty We'll get you out of here. Like I said, we came here to put these ghosts to rest. Usually it doesn't take much. We talk to them a bit, learn who they are, try and get through to them. But these three, they got violent. Ugly. They went after KK, tried to rip her to shreds. Poor kid was terrified. Kid? She's ten. Yeah. Years old. Oh, she's ten. Jesus, is she okay? Last time I saw her, yeah. We got this circle up. It calmed them down long enough for her to escape. We've been separated ever since. If she comes in here... The ghost attack her. I leave the circle, the ghost attack me. So, you see my dilemma here. You couldn't call anyone? All the spiritual energy screws with my phone. <laughs> but even still, I couldn't bring anyone else in here. Too dangerous. Oh, you got yourself into a right predicament there, mate, haven't you? Okay, yeah, why aren't the ghosts attacking because me? Because they don't know you're here. Ghosts barely see other people. Only me. Ah, that's right. As long as I don't provoke them, they won't go crazy again. What can we do to help? I don't know. With other ghosts, KK does most of the talking. Ghosts relate to her more, being a ghost herself. But I'm on my own this time. 
These three won't listen to me. They're just so angry. So I hope you guys have some ideas. Because I'm I've got an idea. Well, like I said, geists don't just appear. Something happened. Something related to their deaths. If we can figure that out, maybe we can help them. So we investigate. It's our specialty. It's definitely got something to do with the dog. Did Dana kill the dog and then these are like, rah, and they killed her and then they managed to die, so I don't know. It depends. Usually we talk to them. Sometimes oh, we know that. Right, okay. Wait, yes, what was that? Usually we talk to them. Convince, convince them they're dead. They are actually dead. Sometimes an object works. Something that they are attached to. Something that reminds them. The dog. Believe me. We're going to go and dig this dog up. Diggity dog. Right, is there anything? Ah, oh, wait there, wait there. I know, I know, I've got one. I know exactly what it is. The, the girl was talking about. Oh, shit. I, I've never done this before. Nothing like this before. I mean, I love my wife. I do, but. Oh, shit. I want this art, but if you don't, I understand. No, I, I want this too. It's an affair. I've been unsure of many things, but not this. Why the, is that? The roommate. He's having an affair with the roommate. Don't question it. Just live it. Yes, that's exactly it. And after tonight, you'll be gone, but I'll keep a memento, just like you asked. Oh. Who is this? I'm glad you'll remember me, darling. I have a hiding space in the garage. Nobody will ever find it. Under my heart rate, it will be for me and me alone. And you, if you ever come back. Just look in the mailbox. The garage opener is hidden in there. Take to the inside where it's hard to see. Now. Oh, shit, the little bastard. Art gear for me. That's oh yeah. Well. Yeah. I. Oh shit! It what? It was actually me. It. Was... <laughs> I thought like I was just like taking form of the memory of this affair, but it was actually me. I fucked this guy in the ass. That is that is like a boss. Nice. Did I? Yes, we did. Do anything. Remember that. What your demon did here was no accident. It had a reason, a plan. We need to learn what it was. But I fucked him in the ass. Mate, didn't worry about it. Like it's not more of that. Take your time. Danny's sex, mate. Not to get uppity about. But there's some. Was there something in here? Some clothes. Uh... Right, we're going to the garage. So, that thing wasn't empty. It was just we weren't looking for the garage opener because it's strapped to the inside. Oh, here we go. I know everything, Dana. That's crazy. You're crazy. I wouldn't do that. This man told me everything. What man? Yeah. Oh. Hello again, Dana. But why? You're the one who told me to do it. Oh, so I was speaking to Donna outside the grocery store when I told her to get a few things. But we're going to find out what she actually did. I didn't tell you anything, Donna. Why are you lying? You gave me instructions. A list of things to buy. So you admit it. You poisoned <gasps> my dog. Oh, man. You know what? Fine. Yes. I killed your fucking dog. It was destroying my GPA. My sleep. Not to mention Arabelle. Is that what this is about, your little rag doll? You promised to fix her months ago. She's been in your closet ever since, just collecting dust. So kick me out. Call the cops. I don't care anymore. I'm done. I knew it. When we in, that's why I tried to investigate that that bookshelf. Sorry, 
the the cupboard upstairs because it said oh and there's a there's a doll a rag doll i knew that would be relevant because when we read the fire message it said arabelle i knew it was the bloody doll killer jess she deserves nothing less yes dana you deserve to die for this what you killed my friend it, it was just a dog get a grip you killed my friend oh this is brilliant murder by mental suggestion a classic demon ploy if there ever was one even so a murder should not create a poltergeist more investigation is needed let's get back to it then All right before we go to the garage let's go and get this teddy and i bet you the teddy needs a, a battery i bet you that's the only thing that's wrong with it oh wrong room is it needed a bloody battery some clothes a beat up doll a doll yes it can't hurt to grab it right let's have a look I fail to see the per Oh, so it doesn't need a It doesn't need a um a battery. Right, let's get in this garage and find out what's beneath his heart rate. Huh. Tape to the side of a mailbox. Clever. Would never have seen it if we didn't know it was there. How about next time you check something when I ask you to check something, do it thoroughly? You know what I mean? Like, come on. Come on, bro. You sure there are batteries in that thing? Oh shit, that's what we need the battery for. Bling bling. Below my love, it's underneath the car. Bet you it's cause that's his that's his heart rate. I need a spade, I wanna dig up the dog. Oh my god. I'm going to dig up the dog. I don't think you're going to pull that off with your bare hands. I'm just searching it. Pry bar. <laughs> Weed. I want to ask her to do something. There is not enough of a gap to slip my sword through. Unless direct method is required. Car keys. Car keys. So we need to get oh screwdriver. Is what is this? Something wrong. There's a picture underneath the license plate. Oh, there's a picture of Art and me together. You, you. Nice. Oh. It is tastefully done, at the very least. I hope I'm absolutely but hanging out the really, back of him. It is the truth. I want to see it. Stop it, Mandana! Stop it now! Set them on fire, Eli. Then send that, set the ashes on fire. No. Just, just embrace it, mate. Embrace it, mm, baby. That's right. Just keep reminding yourself that. What, what, what would stabbing it do? Stab it. That would. This photo was hidden here for a reason. It could still prove useful. I want it. Give us it. Oh, I can't look. I no, no. I actually, I want to look at it closely. Let. Can we see what's happening? Oh, look. There's someone lying on the bed there, and there's someone on top. Or oh, is that? Oh, yeah. It's nothing too juicy. I mean, I could be in his arse there. He's got his legs high enough. Not that I've ever thought about that too much, but hey, all right, let's let's let's, let's proceed. So we'll just get the dog now. I'm gonna dig the dog up. This is immense. Did you?
You really think I wouldn't find out? Don't turn this around on me. You killed Dana. Turn it around. You slept with that man. Oh, I'm actually here in this memory. You two obviously have some issues you need to work out. Issues? We were fine until you came along. This is all your fault. His fault? Yes, I had an affair. I'm sorry, but you murdered Dana. She deserved it. She killed my Mary Jane. Jesus, are you even listening to yourself? Oh, so you can love your precious car, but loving my dog is crazy? No, murder is what's crazy. Jess, he betrayed you. He deserves to die for that. You're right. You are so right. Hey, he seduced me. You didn't have to say yes. I don't want to do this, Jess. Oh, oh the knife fight. Fucking bad. I actually the love playing as the demon. Grimmer with each telling. Well, it's going to get a lot more grim right now. Oh, good. There's a collar. Just grab that, will you? Oh, I was hoping for some absolutely skanky, decrepit body, but it's <laughs> just got the collar. When we return home, I recommend you bathe immediately. Now I'm gonna have a a, a dirty wank with these hands. <laughs> I'm gonna bask in the hideousness. All right, let's. Oh, I killed my wife. I cheated on her, and then I killed her. Oh, this is even better. We can cheat on her again if you wish. I... Why am I so tempted? Why do I want to say yes? I'm confused. So confused. I'm going to go sit in my car for a bit. Try and think. Maybe I'll run the motor a little. Oh, Check he's going to commit suicide. Me. Could you make sure the garage door is closed? <laughs> I am. Um... The temptations of the flesh are too strong. Goodbye, Art. So, there's nothing else we can do here. But at least we know how he died. Right, I think we've got all three things. We'll go and see the the ghost now. We've got a piece that's relevant to each person. What's the story? Donna killed Eden's dog. Seriously? Dana, this is true? Did you kill the family dog? Okay, okay. She's denying it. She says she had no reason to do that. She's not lying. She was mentally forced into doing it. I see. In that case, the best way to reach her is with something physical. Something she's got a strong attachment to. There's got to be something like that around here somewhere. It is... Jess killed Donna with a knife to avenge her dog. Jesus. Jess, is that true? You killed Dana because she killed your dog? I'm sorry, but it's true. Okay, okay. Never mind. She's fine. She's denying all of it. She's saying her dog isn't dead. Do you have any evidence that the dog is dead? Something physical? Find me yes. something like that. And finally, Art cheated on his wife. Did? Art, did you have an affair? Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Relax. I'm not accusing you of anything. He's denying it. Be that as it may. He's not lying exactly. He's just, we need something, find right. something like that. So that's it, right? So oh now we've got to give the doll to him. Um, a doll? Why are you showing me that? It's Dana's. An old toy. Let me see. Dana, is this yours? Arabelle, huh? It's a nice name. Oh, I see. 
Dogs will do that sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry. But why did you do that? There was no need for that. I... No. I can't judge you. That's not my department. If you really want to move on from this, you need to make it right. Asking forgiveness, yeah. Doesn't matter if you get it. It's just important you ask. Just think about it, okay? Just think about it. Yeah, just have a little think. That did it. She's aware. She's ready. Ready? Nice. Ready to move on. Once we calm down all three ghosts, KK and I can do our thing. But for now, keep doing what you're doing. So she's completely pacified. Nice. We'll do the sexy picture. Oh, he's going to get the seat. He's going to love it. He's going to put that on the wank bank for later. Whoa. Uh, why are you showing this to me? Wait, is that art? Had an affair. Yeah, yeah, this is proof, all right. But who's the other guy in the picture? He's kind of <laughs> to make out. It's me. Right, leaving it there. Art, did you take this picture? I'm sorry, Art, but this is you. You can't deny it. Don't ask me why you did it. That's a question only you can answer. Good. Acceptance. That's the only way forward. I get you weren't in your right mind, but it still happened. It still matters. I don't judge you one way or the other. That's not my department. Just think about that. Can you do that for me? Please? There we go. Perfect. Just tight, I'm sorry. I think that did it. Just one more to. Last one, the dog collar. That's kind of disgusting. What are you showing me that for? It's Jess's dog. That might work. Give it here. Jess, do you recognize this? Mary Jane. That was her name? Can you tell me about it? I, yeah, that sucks. That really, really sucks. Dana shouldn't have done that, but you can't do anything about it now. It's out of your control. You see that, right? Cha-ching! That's, That's it. Jobs are gone. think about that for a bit, okay? Right, I think that did it. She's calm. She's ready. Okay. That's the last of them. Here goes everything. They're... They're not attacking. Guys? Oh, thank God. KK, get in here. It's safe. God, it's good to see you. You've met everyone? This is Eli, that's Mandana, and that's... Wait, duh. You guys can't see KK, can you? <laughs> nope. We've sort of met. Nice to see you again, KK. <laughs> You're kind of facing the wrong way. Now she's on your other side. Now she's <laughs> KK. Stop messing around. She's anyway, taking the piss out of us. There's just one more thing I need to do. Then I'm going out to eat about a dozen steaks. Hey guys, Dana, Art, Jess, I want you to meet my friend. Her name's KK. I know you all have had a rough few months, but it's almost over. Just take her hand, okay? One at a time. Human again. Almost makes me. Never mind. Bartender, you know you can talk to me, Logan. You always could. Never did it sober, though. It's different now. I would have died in there if you hadn't shown up. There's nothing, Logan. It's our job. That's not what I'm getting at. You guys, you do this all the time? <laughs> More than we used to, for sure. I'd like to join you. KK, too, obviously. Nice. Is that possible? We don't want to be caught like that ever again. We need him. We do. We definitely need him because we need him to, to to commune with the dead spirits. I've known Logan for years. I can vouch for him. To be fair, I wasn't exactly the same back in those days. You more than proved yourself, Logan. I welcome you. Father will not like it, but that can be dealt with. Um, why is that? He often says that death is part of the mundane world and we should not get involved. But after what we saw tonight, perhaps we should review that sentiment. 
That's awesome. That's right, because we're low on recruitment numbers, so we should recruit like the 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 A team, the Avengers, the spiritual Avengers. That settles it. Welcome to the unavowed Logan. KK's here too. Don't forget that. Do you have a place to stay, Logan? I've got a place in the neighborhood. Great. You go home and get some sleep. We'll meet up first thing in the morning. I'm looking forward to it. What the fuck? There's a there's a light bulb that's a uh, perven on us when I'm asleep. Some sexual predators out here, son. Right, that is awesome. Save this bad boy. Save three, save. And that's perfect way to end the episode. So bloody. We've exercised the demons. We've got Logan on our team now who can commune with the dead. So I wonder, once we go back to the... We'll probably find out what that ball of light is. Then we'll probably have a chance to go back to the station and either investigate the other area that would give us a choice or we can go back to the where the homeless people were and try and progress the story with the the grass tree coming out the building and speak to that dead person and find out how to send them on their merry way awesome right see you in the next one lads